Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. In our next tutorial we're going to be looking at the process of adjusting audio levels on clips on the timeline. I already have here a sequence of clips that have been roughly edited down. I'm just going to zoom in slightly using the keyboard shortcut to zoom in which is plus on the keyboard, minus to zoom out, plus to zoom in and we can then see fairly clearly the audio waveforms on the clips. It's never a bad idea when adjusting audio levels manually on the timeline to make your audio track as big as possible. So I'm just going to rearrange the tracks on my timeline slightly. First of all, I'm going to move to the top of the timeline, get my little trim symbol, drag up, make the timeline a bit taller. I'm then going to move to the timeline control panel area here and move to the divider between the video and the audio tracks. Again, I get a little trim symbol. I'm just going to push up with that. That will push my video tracks up on the timeline and leave more room for the audio tracks. Then I'm going to move to the division between the audio one and audio two tracks. So at the bottom of audio one, and I'm going to drag my audio one track down. So I've got a nice big audio one track. This enables me to both see the audio waveform in more detail. It also allows me to have more control over manually adjusting the audio level of a clip. Another good idea is to expand your audio meter so you get a clearer view of the audio levels that you're dealing with on any clips. So again, I'm just going to move to the edge of the audio meter, drag left. That will expand the audio meter out so I get nice big audio meters. Now to manually adjust the audio level of a clip is fairly straightforward. On each clip, you have a line about halfway down the audio track, which is known as a rubber band. By moving your mouse over the rubber band and dragging up as you do this underneath the track itself, you will have a little readout that tells you how many decibels you're adjusting the clip by. So this is an increase of 2.67 decibels. This is a decrease of 5.67 decibels. When adjusting an audio clip, it's never a bad idea to gauge what the actual level of the clip is first. If I just bring my playhead back to the start of the clip, play through and look at the audio meter, the audio meter gives me an indication of where at various parts of the clip the clip is peaking and it leaves a little line at its maximum peak for a second or two. Sometimes it's useful to change how this peak line works. So rather than it resetting itself every couple of seconds, there is a way of fixing it so that it will just remain at the maximum level of the clip that you're playing. To do this, you do a right click on the audio meter and choose from the menu that appears static peaks. Now as I play through the clip, the peak line remains visible at the highest peak level of the clip. One thing you have to be careful of, if you're looking for the peak level of an individual clip, this line does not reset itself when it gets to the next clip. So to reset this meter, all you do is click once on the meter, and then it's reset again. There is also calibration down the side of the meter. The units here are decibels. At the top of the meter we have zero, at the bottom of the meter at the moment, I have it set to minus 64 decibels. The scale of this can be changed again by right clicking. So we have everything from a 24 decibel range that goes from zero to minus 24 to a full 120 decibel range. So zero to minus 120. In reality, when you're dealing with audio, most of the time you're really interested in the peak levels. So I usually work on a 48 decibel range or a 24 decibel range depending on what I'm trying to do and the peak levels I'm trying to find. I'm going to switch it to a 48 decibel range again for the moment. Now there's uh, a couple of basic rules that you can follow in terms of audio levels. The first one is to do with dialogue and when you're dealing with dialogue usually you want each clip peaking at around minus 12 to minus 10 decibels on the meter. Anywhere generally for a peak level between minus 18 and minus 10 is a reasonable level. The other general rule is don't let anything go above minus 6 on the audio meter. Audio is additive, so as you add additional audio elements to your audio mix, 
the result is usually louder than the component parts. So be wary of setting levels right up to minus six if you intend to later add additional audio elements to your edit. So to manually adjust my audio level, and let's say I'm looking for the maximum peak of this first clip to hit minus 12 on my meter, I can play through the clip, have a look at where it's peaked. So here we're looking at about minus 16 and a half decibels. Work out then what I need my change to be to make it peak where I want. So minus 16 and a half to minus 12 is going to be a, an, an increase of four and a half decibels. So to move over the rubber band on the clip on the timeline till my black cursor arrow changes to a white arrow and then click on the rubber band and drag upwards, keeping an eye on the decibels readout until I get to where I want. Because I've zoomed in on my screen, I have a fair level of control over this. But if I'm zoomed out normally, the level of fine control that I have sometimes, it can be quite hard to achieve exactly the change that you want. So one thing you can do is get close to the change that you want. So I'm going to get close to about four and a half and then hold down your command key on a Mac or your control key on a PC and then drag. And this allows you to fine tune the change and then let go of your mouse. If I now play this, my maximum peak level now, as you can see, is spot on minus 12 decibels. The only downside of this method of adjusting audio levels and uh, going through a sequence and getting all of your clips peaking at a similar level is that it's very slow. Each clip has to be analyzed individually on the audio meter and then individually adjusted. So in the next tutorial, we're going to look at a quicker, more automated way of selecting multiple clips and adjusting their audio levels so that they will peak at a specific level on the audio meter. Thank you.